What is up, YouTube? No, don't adjust your screen. I really am this pretty. We are in Berserker Gym. Yours shut down. My son's treadmill shut down, so I'm gonna go fix that. First, let me tell you what we're gonna do. We are gonna get some front squats in today. We're gonna go heavy, and I'm gonna show you proper technique. For me, the biggest lift that makes an athlete, the biggest lift that goes through and correlates to everything that most athletes are trying to do is the front squat. Basketball, football, track, lacrosse, do regular strongman, which obviously most of the people watching this are interested in strongman. If you're anything that has athletic movement, especially explosive athletic movement, front squat will make an athlete out of you. It's the best thing for I would say like 90% of athletes, maybe 95. It's one of the best lifts there is. It forces you to have good form, it forces you to stay in the right position, and if you have a mistake or something goes wrong, it goes forward and you lose it. You're not, you're not at as much of a risk as back squat, even though I think back squat is very, very big, very important. Uh, front squat is just a little bit better in my opinion. I'm gonna show you how I like to do it. A lot of people, like to hold the bar like that and it starts to jam up their wrist not me so Sue so I just lifted and tucked my beard over this what I like to do is shove it in there right here get it nice and tight and then I cross and I put one thumb here one thumb there and I push it in it keeps your elbows up and it keeps your wrist safe Pushing in is the thing you're gonna have to teach yourself. You're gonna have to teach yourself that it's okay to be uncomfortable. With this, the first, I don't know, four or five times you do it, you're gonna be like, no, this isn't right, this does not feel good. And then all of a sudden you're gonna get tougher up in your collarbone and you're gonna be like, okay, this is right. Like I said, if you're a young athlete, all you kids that are watching, that are in high school, that wanna be better football players, I get tons of messages from you guys. And, and for you guys, I really hope that you pay attention to this video and practice getting your front squats because this will make an athlete out of you. So let me go fix my son's treadmill. He's, he's only five, he likes to run. It's something I stopped doing by the time I was two, so we'll figure it out. Anyways. I'll be back and I'll show you how to front squat. Another thing I wanted to tell you is this is really good to help with flexibility. If you've been paying attention to my videos, the last one I put out, I've been working on my, my deadlift. It's one of my biggest focuses, two focuses that I'll tell you guys about because like, like I told you guys in previous videos, I'm still an athlete, I still compete. I don't wanna give all of my tips away. I don't wanna give all of my secrets and all of my training ideas and everything I'm doing to make myself better for competition. I don't wanna say all of it. So I'll never show you 100% of my work. I'll never show you my heaviest or hardest sets unless it's something that I feel like won't give me away. I won't do that, but what I will do is show you as much as I can to help you guys as much as I can. One of the biggest things I'm working on is my deadlift. I'm trying to build flexibility. I'm trying to make sure that I can get into a good position easily. That's, that's probably like 75% of my issues is being flexible and being comfortable in that position, knowing where I'm supposed to be. And front squat will help with your flexibility a ton it makes you keep your chest up because if you don't have your chest up you lose the bar and it also shoves you down like a normal squat so a lot of the guys you see who squat and they come way forward and they bend at the hip and they go like that a lot of those guys could could benefit from putting the bar on their collarbone rather than on their back thing I'm feeling right now is super tight right hip. We'll loosen it up, it'll get better soon. Starting to feel good. Finally. There you go. 
There we go. The truth is the more it weighs, the more it holds itself in place, which is a good and a bad thing because it means the more it shoves itself down your throat, but it works. feels basically the same like uh, once I get it over three plates it all feels the same till I get to like 600 this being my first front squat since worlds I'm not gonna go too much more I'll go I'll go to five plates and uh, make sure I'm getting nice and deep and they make you feel way better they make your hips feel better you're just you're forced to be in a good position and then on top of all that, my upper back is getting great work. My core is getting great work. Again, this will make an athlete out of you. So everybody watching this, do your front squats. I felt a little bit heavier. Had a little bit of a knee wobble on the bottom of the second rep, but pretty good. Not bad for first serious one back. Yep. Boom. Wow. Yikes. That's the end of the front squat. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little accessory real quick and get you on your happy way. Before we go, make sure you guys are hitting the link below. We got tons of great supplements from Redcon One and also, as always, the best clothing in the business. We always appreciate the support. And whatever you guys wanna see, whatever ideas you guys have, things you want us to do, go ahead, drop it in the comments. We're always watching. We'll see you guys. And we'll try and make sure we keep up with the demand while I try and catch my breath. So let's see what we got next. I missed it. <laughs> Doing some walking lunges, haven't, I've not done these in a long time, which is why I need to do them. There's a lot of little, I would say holes, but the thing is, is in strength athletics, there's, it's such a well-rounded pursuit of athletics and strength that it's really hard to keep up with everything you're supposed to do. You need speed, you need strength, you need mobility, you need athleticism, you need flexibility, yet elasticity. That's why in most people's opinion who are involved in strength athletics, they think that strongman is the ultimate test of strength athletics. So I'm not gonna say strength athletics again now that that's been like the fifth time I said it. A lot of stuff that I'm gonna be adding into my workouts is not just your normal power lifter leg like stand still and lift weight stuff. I need to be able to move, I need to be able to explode. This year, World Strongest Man was so light in comparison to before and I mean like the log press was 30 pounds lighter than it was the year previous so everything's getting lighter faster you got to make sure that it's light enough for the weak Englishman to pick it up or America just looked too good so we gotta make sure that when Worlds comes around again uh, the mobility stuff is not a hindrance it's it's a strength. Let's do some barbell walking lunges. I 
as you can tell, they're not pretty. I'll get better. I got a bunch of other stuff I'm gonna do. You thought those look bad. That's why I'm not gonna show you my side lunges because they're worse. But, you know, normally I'll just throw in whatever heavy stuff I got going, I'll show you guys. Like, you know, I gotta do some, some leg press and some upper back work. But I also wanna make sure that you guys, for the people who are watching this, not just for entertainment, who are watching it to, to train to be better at sports or strongman or whatever, I wanna share the honest truth about it. And the honest truth is a lot of the stuff is stuff that doesn't make you look so good. You know, a lot of getting a better press is doing lightweight for a zillion reps. And a lot of getting better at movement and, and legs is doing stuff like these lunges. And you know, I'll keep getting better. And next week I'll have a plate on here and I'll keep getting better and better. And by the time we get ready to compete, Hopefully I'll have two, three, four plates on here while I'm walking lunges and doing better. And uh, I think it'll make me a much better athlete. So I know, like I said, normally we just try and show the cool stuff, but I, I wanna make sure you guys are getting the real deal. So I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna get my other stupid lifts on and uh, try and uh, make sure I'm ready to go for next world. Hope you guys have a good day, enjoy this beautiful holiday season. I know things are crazy, but for all of us ugly people out there, we get to cover our faces and pretend like it's normal so that people don't have to see our face. It's kind of like a beard for everyone. It's awesome. Masks are the best. I know. I lied. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great holiday season and let's uh, stay strong and pretty, y'all. I'll catch you next time.